So, you want to know how to break through your limitations. Just so happens you have come to the right place. My name is Chris Crone, and a lot of people subscribe to this channel because I've made millions of dollars in real estate, and I love teaching you how to do the same. And you can't get into the practicality of making money unless you first know how to create it here in the mind. And the reality is no one escapes childhood without having a jacked up mind filled with limiting beliefs. So today, I'm gonna to share with you how to eliminate those limiting beliefs. You know, it's amazing. Um, people come from all over the world to interact with me, come to my events. Thousands of people have experienced my breakthrough events. And at some point when you get on your journey of building wealth, you start realizing, wow, this is really hard or this is really emotional or this is difficult for me or I come up against a belief that says I don't even believe it's possible. Oddly enough, I can spend time all day long showing you how to actually do business successfully or make money in real estate, but the truth is, that your own limiting beliefs will get in the way of your ability to create the life that you want unless you really can master your mind. So let's talk about it. What really is breakthrough? It's a process that I developed for overcoming a limiting belief. What's a limiting belief? It's any belief that you've latched onto that you believe is true. You, you treat it as truth and you defend it as truth but it's actually limiting. It's like walking around with different levels of glass ceilings and needing to duck and do the limbo and walk awkward through life instead of standing really tall. Let me give you an example of what some of these limiting beliefs are. Some of the really popular ones that we get from childhood is that I'm shy or I can't do it or it's hard or it's impossible, or I'm too young, I'm too old, or I'm fat, or I'm ugly, okay? These are ideas that, where we go into like some kind of identity crisis and identifying and thinking that's who we are. Now, I, I get it, for you subscribers, this has gotta be a weird video. It's like, dude, Chris, you're coming out of left field, man. Like, why aren't you here to teach me today's video on how to create wealth? Listen up, dummy, that's exactly what I'm doing. I mean, I didn't mean to call you a dummy right there, but listen, this wealth that is in the mind, the real estate between the two years, this is some of the most important education I can give you. It's bizarre, people come out to my events, if you go to my next one, it's my biggest one of the year, and I'm gonna be teaching literally how to make a million dollars and what the game plan is and how to crush it, but I'm gonna spend equal as much of the time talking about your mindset. Because for example, you all have a financial barometer, and that barometer says, I'm allowed to make $40,000 a year or $80,000 a year, or, and that number will change. And whatever your number is, you don't really have a belief system that supports that you can double that amount of money. At best, you think you can maybe make 10 or 20% more every year, because that's what society's really taught you. Similarly, if you believe that you're fat and ugly and you can't do something and you're shy, like let's just group all four of those together into like a big old cluster bomb. Dude, imagine trying to go out there and make money, negotiate a deal, and in the back of your mind, You've got this voice that it's saying, dude, you're about to use your voice. You don't even know how to do that. By the way, you're fat and ugly and people don't like you and you can't do this. It's not exactly what you call a confidence booster when you're doing something you've never done before. Does that kind of make sense? So what we're trying to do is success in life comes from doing things we haven't done before. How do I get myself from here to here to here? I'm just messing with my camera guy. Um, so we're trying to get ourselves to do things that are maybe difficult or possible or hard. And if you've got these ideas in your head, then I'm trying to get you to do something you've never done before and you've already defeated yourself in your mind. Well, the truth is we've done that in our relationships. We've done that in our bodies. We've done that in everything that touches every aspect of life. And uh, it sucks because through life, you'll get older and you'll see that change, right? And you'll have new people come in and out of your life, but your results, they are doomed. They are destined to stay exactly what they have been. And they're not changing, unless you change. Which means there's gotta be a way to take this trash and clean it out of my head and then put something good in there. Friends, 
That's what breakthrough is. That's why when people come to my events, they're like, dude, I thought I was gonna be learning all this real estate stuff, and then Chris started doing these Ninja Jedi mind tricks, and like, I'm freaking in love with my life. Yes, they are life changing events. They're really, really awesome. They're very, very powerful. You gotta come out to one of my next events. Just go to chriscrone.com and I don't call them events. My team actually considers that blasphemy or um, grossly inaccurate. We call them experiences. What you're about to experience right now, this is an experience. Check it out. These are ideas, find just one of these, or maybe you've inspired yourself with a limiting belief. You've got thousands of them. And I went on a journey years ago to purge thousands of these beliefs from my mind, and they have made the impossible possible. For example, I used to be chubby and fat, and no matter what I did, I would get the same result. I go to the gym six days a week on average for a decade, and my body would not change its look. Then I changed my belief system, and then with it, my body changed. My finances, I didn't believe I could, then I couldn't. But when I believed I was a millionaire, I could then become a millionaire. In other words, thoughts precede action, and thoughts precede result. If you want your results outside to change, you need to change your inside thinking. So the way that you do that, let's just take shy. Okay? There's a lot of people that develop this idea and they think that they're introvert or they think that they're shy. I just want to pause for a moment. Dude, most of us in elementary school have embarrassing experiences, like several of them. And all you have to do is have an embarrassing moment and tie an idea to it. I'm shy or I'm not comfortable with people. And guess who you're going to become? You're going to become an introverted, shy human being that feels uncomfortable around others. Now, you could make an argument and say, shut up, Chris, that's who I am. Okay, but you've been making that argument your entire life and is it working? I'm not here saying that shy is necessarily bad, but I want to ask you a question. Honestly, is shy good? Is it serving you? Is it introducing you to the people that you want? Is it creating success? You see, my personal experience is that if you want to be successful, then you're going to have to meet human beings. You got big dreams. The bigger the dream, the more people. It didn't serve me to be an introvert. I wasn't necessarily shy, but I was awkward around people. And I changed that by challenging that belief. So I've changed my body. I've changed my money. I've changed my relationships because I've changed my thinking. Here are the steps. Let's take that side and erase this side. And the first step is just an awareness or recognition. You want to make more money? You want a healthier, sexy body? You want to lose weight? You want to have more healthy relationships? Whatever it is you want in life, it has to start with a recognition for the belief that exists. So there's recognition. I'm shy. That's my belief. And you need to understand that it's not truth. It's a belief. And that belief is only there because you unconsciously chose it once upon a time. And now what we're going to do is consciously choose something different. So there's recognition. Oh, I've got this limiting belief. I am shy. The second step is I want you to put it on trial. Is this thing serving me? Is it good for me or is it bad for me? It is weird how many ideas we have that are bad for us that we actually protect as if they were good or worthy of our protection because we have an identity crisis going on. We have confused thinking this is who I am. Friend, I got news for you. This isn't who you really are. So when there's recognition that there is this shyness, what I want you to do is just pause and take inventory and ask, is this really being good to me? And if you get honest, you change, you need honesty here. You'd say, well, when I go to the party, I kind of hide in a corner, and then when I leave the party, I feel like I missed out. Okay, so good and bad, I'm gonna chalk that up as bad. Um, I keep wanting to start this one business, but then every time I have to interact with people, it's hard for me, and I get it, it all turns awkward, and sometimes I don't even talk to the people. Well, that's bad. And you make this long list and start realizing, oh my gosh, this whole freaking shy thing. This is shyst. This is shyster. This is like garbage. This is stuff that I actually wanna get rid of. This does not serve me. But then you're thinking, wait, but I am shy, it's who I am. Oh, come on, listen. If it was a choice then, then this idea that you're shy, that's, that's identity confusion. You've just, you've just believed a dumb idea for such a long time you actually think it's true. And that's stupid. Instead, we're gonna move on to step three, which is, I gotta get me a new belief. You gotta ask yourself, wait a second, what will serve me more than I'm shy? 
Now, by the way, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a free downloadable app that I created for you. I don't want anything in return. This app will actually take you through this process. It's me recorded on voice. You could do this every day as much as you want. So don't worry, it's not like you have to learn this. You just have to have the courage to wanna to face yourself in the mirror and do a little bit of this work every day. But hang in with me, I'm giving you the basics right now. Instead of believing I'm shy and it's not serving, what would you rather believe instead? Well, listen, I'm not asking who you've been, I'm asking, who do you want to become? Who do you want to believe? Who do you want to be? So you might say, I'm outgoing. And to a shy person, what would they say? That's so weird. Totally, of course, you've been practicing shy for such a long time, it's like second nature to you. It's anything you put here is gonna be weird. I'm asking what would be good for you? Well, I'm outgoing would probably be good for me. What else would be good for you? You could actually try on that I'm an extrovert. Oh, no, I, I get that you haven't practiced extrovert your entire life, so it's going to be weird, but would it be good for you? Well, if I was extrovert, I'd be more outgoing and maybe it'd become in time less awkward to meet people. Yes, it would. And then you'd like be able to do like eye contact instead of shifty nervous eyes. It'd be awesome. So I'm outgoing, I'm an extrovert, and uh, maybe I'm fun. Like people like being around me. I like being around me. I'm the life of the party. I love the limelight. These are just ideas. None of them are gonna seem true. You need to know that. But if you can come to recognition of your limiting belief, put it on trial to find out if it's been good or bad to you, and then create a new belief, that's not gonna change anything for you. That's only half the process. Here's the other half. Understand the way your brain works. To grow, the way you've learned everything is that you latched onto an idea, and you repeated it enough times that it actually formed a neural network. And usually it takes about three weeks to do this, scientifically to grow a new neuron. So right now, you're, you know, just as much as there's this outrage, what? I'm gonna say I'm outgoing, I'm an expert, and I'm fun? How freaking weird! You've just started the creation process. In fact, there's probably some emotional energy around this. Good. What I want you to have is I want you to have an intense, positive, and powerful energy around this for three weeks. 21 days. So as a doctor, here would be your medicine. I would say, take these three statements and I want you to write them down and I want you to review them in your mind three times every day, believing in them as if you were already them. And so in your mind, I'd want you to see yourself, imagine yourself being outgoing, imagine yourself as an extrovert, imagine yourself being the life of the party. And in your mind, if you can conjure, manufacture emotion, to like, oh my gosh, what does it feel like to like be fun? Oh my gosh, I would like get all excited and I'd be like, I can see myself eyes closed like I'm out in this party and freaking slaying it. And then I'd see, oh my gosh, I'm totally outgoing. Look, I'm meeting people and I'm being extroverted. It's so weird, but I'm doing it and it's awesome. I want you to identify a positive energy, a positive emotion with a visualization surrounding these every day, with every day growing that energy exponentially higher and higher and higher until literally you're in the closet of your room, you're checking to make sure no one's looking, and you're getting all freaking pumped up and overjoyed with all this manufactured, self-created emotion around these ideas. Where there is emotion, the belief has actually bedrock to build on and stick. If you're not willing to get emotional about this because you're gonna say, well, that's really stupid looking. No, I'm, so I'm talking about the science of how you change your brain. I don't care what you think about it. I'm just saying it works. And I'm inviting you to do an experiment, which is review this every day. Now here's something that will psych you into the process that'll make it easy. Let's say you decided every day to come up with a limiting belief. The next one is, I can't do it. Loser. Stop being a loser, of course you can, right? Stand up tall. Instead of I can't do it, oh, I recognition I can't do it, I'm putting on trial, this sucks. New belief, I can do it. Here's what I want you to do. Now you're gonna say, well I'm outgoing, I'm extrovert, I'm fun, and I can do it. I used to call myself ugly. Ugly, put it on trial, that sucks. New belief. I'm handsome, I'm beautiful, I love my life. You're gonna start collecting all these new beliefs. Now here's a little cheat. Find your favorite jam, your favorite positive music, like just your energy where you just, you love the song. Not the melancholy, sad I feel it. I'm talking about like the, what pumps you up, what jazzes you. Play that music in the background, and then go ahead and take these ideas and read them. Read them with as much excitement as possible that if someone walked in the room, you'd be totally embarrassed, like Ugh! I feel like someone just saw me naked. Yes, it's that vulnerable. But that's exactly what I want you to do. Friends, this is a form of breakthrough. There are deeper forms. This is a very elementary version. So here's my challenge to you. Click the link below. It'll give you a website. On my website, go scroll down until you find my breakthrough app. 
when you um, click the link to download it, it's gonna ask for no money, it's gonna ask for no commitment. In fact, it's not gonna do anything but sit on your phone and be there. You gotta have the impetus every day to actually go there and it'll actually walk you through a breakthrough. And you can select me, my voice will show up right there and I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. And you're gonna fill in the answers and by the time you're done, you're gonna complete this breakthrough experience. And what you're gonna do every day is you're gonna build a recognition and you're gonna start slaying the, the beast and the demons. You're gonna start getting rid of these. You're gonna start accentuating everything that you want to be. And for the first time in your life, since childhood, you will actually be designing who you want to be by choice. Now, isn't that awesome? It's freaking totally awesome. Like, that's the version of you that I wanna meet. The one that says every day I'm better than I was the day before. I'm working on myself. Friends, this is a process that you can use for overcoming your limiting beliefs. Uh, I wrote a book on this, Limitless. I have an event based on it. And it's one half wealth and it's one half strategy on how to change your belief system to be the most amazing, positive, powerful human being version of yourself that you possibly can. It will create and emerge supernatural results where you're gonna say, oh my gosh, look at, I can't even believe the synchronicity, the things that are happening in my life. Oh my gosh, this is freaking amazing. Because you'll stop practicing being an idiot. You'll stop practicing being stupid. You'll stop practicing ideas that actually are not who you are. The truth is that you're precious. The truth is that you're priceless. The truth is that you're amazing. And if you're watching this thinking, can this help me be a successful real estate investor? Yeah. This is also how you have a happy marriage or like have happy, successful relationships. Dude, life is hard. It's filled with opposition and it's not any easier when you believe this crap. So what you do is you erase it and you get rid of it one limiting belief at a time by focusing on who you want to be. And you do that by choice. I think that's why God gave it to you. God gave you the ability to ch make choices. There's very little, I think, that God does to tell you who to be. I think he leaves it totally open for you to figure out what's going to serve me best. I think this process is going to be useful for you. So click the link and download the app. And if you really want to put this process on steroids, if this video connected with you, first of all, share it with other people. I'd appreciate that. But more importantly, go on my website and learn about my upcoming experiences, my events. They are ultimate breakthrough events. They are life-changing. They will change your life. They're freaking awesome. But in the least, get the app, start there, and we'll see you on the next video.